a group of animal welfare workers have rescued a mob of kangaroos surrounded by flood water in Blanchettan in South Australia's Riverland, while many more remain stranded. Veterinary nurse Carrie Machado said more than 70 kangaroos had become stranded on small islands created by floodwaters. Watch now, animal rescue underway in Blanchettan News and Stream for free greater than greater than, originally it was just a welfare check and then when I got out there, I was not prepared for what I saw, she said. They were totally surrounded by water, they had limited access to food and they only had contaminated river water to drink. The River Murray was expected to peak within weeks, and the small islands would be submerged. Machado was part of a group of specialists including vets, and veterinary nurses who would tranquilize the kangaroos, use boats to rescue them and then community members would help relocate the kangaroos to a safe area in Blanchettan with their own cars. But she said only 15 to 20 of the kangaroos that were hand-raised by a community member could be moved, while the wild kangaroos would remain on the island because of regulations restricting the rescue and release of wild kangaroos. Machado said it was an extremely difficult situation, but the remaining group would be given food drops and euthanized before flood waters overcame the island they were marooned on. As the water rises, they are going to lose all land, she said. In these situations, we can't logistically move thousands of kangaroos and the wild kangaroos don't cope well with being darted, sedated and transported and then having to recover. They end up suffering from disease processes, particularly myopathy. She said it was upsetting for those involved, I'm a vet nurse, I'm supposed to save animals. It's going to be hard to leave them behind today, delicate operation separating and removing the hand-raised kangaroos was also a challenge for the group with strong winds creating rough water. Machado said a member of the community who worked closely with the hand-raised animals would identify and lure them in with food so they could be tranquilized. They will be maintained by the local community, and, supplementary fed until the waters dispersed in 6 to 12 months time, she said, then they can make their way, by themselves, to the riverfront properties where they normally reside. She said the team would blindfold the animals and put cotton wool in their ears so they wouldn't become stressed. A number of other organizations have also supported the operation with funding for medical supplies, fuel for boats and food. Machado said it was bittersweet for the community, many of whom had damaged or lost homes during the floods. This little bit of joy, in this huge disaster, they will be so grateful, she said. She said the South Australian floods had devastating impacts on wildlife and there were many other animal rescues or decisions to euthanize. We've rescued wombats, in pouch kangaroo joeys, lizards, and echidnas floating in the water hanging onto reeds for dear life. In any sort of disaster, there is a lot of suffering for our wildlife, she said.